Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, as always, I would love to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, the Kaf Badash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Hey, blessings and safety to the elect. Hey, the men, women, and children that will return back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in truth and sincerity and repent before the Lord's wrath approaches. All right, to you I say Shalom, and Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. All right, it says Red Lobster reports $11 million in losses because customers are eating way too much unlimited shrimp. All right. And when I saw this article, man, I instantly thought of Jake, all right? And it's got to be the spirit, man, because the nigga who published this article, okay, his name is Jake Rosen, okay? Some, it's probably some Edomite, man, but, you know, I instantly thought of Jake, man. You tribes out there, man, okay? Especially the damn nigga woman, man, <laughs> and the Israelite woman, but mainly the damn nigga woman, Keisha, okay? You know, they, you know, they take pleasure and eating, you know, abominations. Okay, whether it's pork, <laughs> you know, you know, Jake and their and their uh you know, pork bacon, you know, their pork sausage, even though the Lord has, you know, beef sausage, you know, turkey sausages, turkey bacon, you know, you know, things like that. You know, he has substitutions. So that you don't, you know, you know, pretty much have to, you know, eat abominations or eat unclean, you know, uh, animals. But Jake choose the unclean over the clean, right? And they take pride in it, man. Okay, when you look on these damn social medias, okay, and you go on these prof and you and you scroll through these profiles, man. All you see is Jake posting pictures, man, of damn plates, man. You know, whether they're at some, you know, fancy restaurant, you know, they taking pictures with the shrimp. And the crab legs, you know, dipping in the garlic butter, you know, you know, saying how good it is. As a matter of fact, let me open up with a quick precept, man. This is Jeremiah 8 and 12, all right, because they take pride in it, man. It says, were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not all ashamed, neither could they blush, man, okay? Because you could tell Jake all day, you know, how eating shrimp, crab, and lobster is unlawful, okay? But, you know, Jake adopt that little boosie spirit, that shoot, shoot, God, shoot, shoot. You know, I'll get God the middle finger, whatever this, that nigga said. And right after that, he was shot, man, okay? But I say that to say this, man. When you tell Jake, you know, these things are unlawful to eat, you know, Jake, you know, pretty much in their mind, the Lord doesn't have an issue with it. And if he does, so what? You know, they're going to eat what's pleasing to them, okay? You know, shoot, shoot, God, shoot, shoot, right? But it says, therefore shall they fall among them that fall in the time of their visitation. They should be cast down, saith the Lord, man. So let's just read a little bit of this article, man. I got a couple precepts, man, that we're going to close out. It says, for decades, Red Lobster has been the ultimate in fast, casual seafood dining but a recent corporate decision to offer as much endless shrimp as patriots or patrons could eat has proven to be a catastrophe. Americans ate so much shrimp that it cost the company eleven million dollars, man. All right, and he saw knows that Jake ain't supposed to be eating this shit, and this and this is why he pushes it on Jake. All right, he pushes. You know, all this, this, hey, when you go into the grocery stores, you see a lot of shrimp, man. A lot of damn crab legs, a lot of damn catfish, okay? And then the prices on it, you know, you know, be where, you know, Jake can pretty much afford it. You know, he wants you, hey, this is why he, the ultimate endless shrimp. This is why he promotes shit like this, man, because he know niggas is going to fill it, fill up the damn restaurant and eat, man. Because when you go into a damn red, 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 red lobster, man, you see nothing but damn Jake's in there, man. 
And then, like, I was going into the social pl media platforms, man. Jake always at some seafood spot eating some damn shrimp and crab legs, man. Especially the nigga woman. And this is facts. Okay? But, hey, man. Hey, like I said, the Lord forbid us and commanded us as a nation not to eat this madness, man. And I'm going to get straight to the point, man. Leviticus 11 and 9, it says, These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. With the damn lobster, damn uh, crabs and uh, shrimp and, you know, catfish, they, they, don't, they don't have, you know, scales and fins, man. Okay? They don't. Okay, it says, and all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you, man. It says, they shall even, and they shall be even an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcasses is an, is an abomination. Whatsoever have no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you, man. Okay? And, um, you know, the Lord, you know, created certain, you know, sea creatures, okay, to, you know, actually clean the filth of the water, which, you know, they're considered to be bottom feeders, okay? And, or they, uh, another name for them are natural aquarium cleaners, all right, and their job is to pretty much clean the filth of the water, right? So, <clears throat> let me get this real quick. <clears throat> it says, uh, why are bottom feeders important in ecosystem? Just like a pig is very important in an ecosystem, okay? Because why? The pig cleans the ecosystem. And, you know, that's being pushed on our people's at an all-time high, man, okay? Our people love some damn pork, okay? And, the, the, you know, the crazy part about all of this is the Lord has other things that can be eaten that's that's lawful, that actually, that, that actually tastes uh, good, you know? But Jake, you know, later on down the line, Jake wonder why they got all these damn health uh, problems, man, you know, because they shoving damn uh, uh, lobsters and shrimp down their throat for damn 10, 15 years, you know? And then this is all high, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, you know, heart disease, okay? You know, diabetes, you know? Because all of this, you know, uh, uh, you know, all of this, uh, you know, unclean, you know, food that's being ate, you know? But it says uh, bottom feeders may gather... Detrius manually, as some crab species do, or filter micro particles out of the water using suspicion feeding. So, you know, these bottom feeders are says, let me read this. It said, this biotech decomposing and recycling of organic matter is critical for the health of many aqu aquatic environments as it helps maintain various of biology chemical cycles so these 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 bottom feeders actually play an important role and you know keeping the you know the water clean and this is why the water is so damn polluted okay because you know this devil he takes all the damn you know bottom feeders out of the water all the uh, natural aquarium clean cleanser clean cleaning sea creatures out of the water okay and then sells them to uh, be ate you know and then you got people out there that, that believe that the Lord doesn't have an issue with this, okay? And this is why a lot of you people are going to, you know, D.I.E., man, you know, for, for thinking like that, right? Hey, the Lord wouldn't care if I ate damn strength, man. Come on, man. You know, I go to work every day, man. Take care of my family, man. I, don't, I ain't out here robbing nobody, man, or selling drugs. Why can I eat what I want to eat, all right? But, hey, if you, in that, if you have that thought process, hey, this is a scripture that you need to listen to right here, man. It's Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but at the end thereof are the ways of death. All right? The scriptures say that the ways of sin is death, man. The scriptures say uh, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. 
The scriptures also say the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him and dare, therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. All right. So, hey, you may think the Lord, you know, you may think that, you know, hey, because you, you're not out here just, you know, robbing and stealing and selling drugs and, you know, doing things like that, you know, that that, that you're, 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 you're considered righteous or, you know, you're, uh, it allows you to be able to, you know, pretty much eat whatever you want to eat and the Lord is going to be okay with it. You know, that's not, that's not, that's not the case, man. You know, we have, you know, forefathers that lost their life. You know, due to them not wanting to eat something that was unlawful, man. You know, going to the, uh, you know, the the, the Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter, I believe. All right, and, you know, to the to the brothers, man, that lost their life because they didn't want to eat swine flesh because it was against it was against the scriptures, man. It was against our dietary law, so they lost their life, man. But then you got people willingly eating it, okay, willingly eating it, and they they they're, they're taking pride in eating it, okay. Well, hey, man, the Lord is going to, uh, you know, judge you niggas, man. So, you know, hey, I hope this was edifying. Uh, I'm going to end giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.